Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to show you how to air check your drums and pistons on a 4L60, 4L65, uh, 700R4. Uh, we're going to do the low reverse, reverse drum, uh, the 3 4 clutch pack, along with your engine brake clutch and your forward clutch. All right, the first one I do is going to be your uh, low reverse, which is the first clutch pack get, that gets installed in the transmission. So the hole we're going to use is going to be right there. We're going to put this rubber tipped air nozzle in there and hold it tight. And then when we apply air, you should hear it engage, but you shouldn't hear air hissing, except for where it's connected there. But so it's holding. I hear zero air coming from the transmission, so we know that, that clutch pack is good. All right, now we got the uh, input drum, and there's three holes in the input shaft. This very bottom one is your three four how or three four clutch, and there is a an exhaust port for it here. Now, if we just apply it to the clutch, that hiss is actually coming from the exhaust port. So you have to plug that. That is supposed to be that way. So you plug it. Just like that. So we know that clutch pack holds fine. All right, now we're going to do this hole here. This is your forward clutch. Same way, just except there's no exhaust ports. Holds, no leaks, so we know that one's good. Now this is your engine brake or overrun clutch. When you apply it to this one, there is a check ball that sends fluid to your forward clutch. So if you're feeding air here, you have to block off here. But the kicker is you should be able to let off of your overrun and still have pressure in your forward. So if we just apply it like this, there's air coming out. Block forward. See how I did that? Apply to overrun with the forward bl blocked. Overrun, to, uh, uh, overrun releases, forward releases. Just like that. So we know these are all good. All right, now we're gonna do the reverse drum. There is an exhaust port on the actual apply plate. All right, on the reverse drum, um, what I'm talking about the exhaust hole is, there's a hole right there. When you apply pressure, when this piston is pushed up, there's actually a controlled bleed out there. So if you want to make sure that your seals, your lip seals are sealed right, and I'm not going to be able to do it because I don't have somebody else here, but have somebody hold this half while you got it hanging off the edge, like you're doing to air check it. Have somebody hold this. You hold this side, have your finger over the bleed hole, and just slowly apply a little bit of air to that, and this will actually raise up but you want somebody to hold it that way, it doesn't go too crazy and pop a lip seal out. But have it come up a little bit and then keep everything air, let the air off and make sure it doesn't just drop back down. Make sure you don't hear no air leaking out. And as long as if everything's good there, then you can put your clutch pack in it and then we'll make sure it applies. So when you apply, you're gonna have between your wave plate or apply plate and the piston, you're gonna have it's going to leak. That's supposed to be that way, but you want to make sure that the clutch is applied tight. So I'm going to try to get the gamma in a good position, and your apply hole for this one is right there. So we're going to use our medium tip to get it to seal, and I'm going to try to get the camera position so you guys can see this. All right, now hopefully you guys will be able to see this. I'm going to spin it around and put the blowgun in. I want to try to make sure I have this tip sealed perfectly against that. And you'll tell if you don't. I see how it changed. And you couldn't see it, but there's actually, the fluid is actually coming out from where the wave plate or apply plate in the, uh, or I guess cushioning plate, in the piston meat, which is normal, 
But like I showed you earlier, how you can test to make sure your piston seals are installed correctly. So from what we saw here, this piston works. You could tell how tight it pushed the clutches as soon as I let off how much back pressure it had to release it. So everything here is good. All right, guys, so I hope this video helps you understand how to air check your clutches on your 4L60, 4L65, uh, 700R4. Um, any questions, drop them down in the comment box. Um, but other than that, that's all I got for today. So we will see you guys next week.